spider tube of coefficient of discharge uh, 1.0 is used to measure the velocity of air of mass density 1.2 kg per meter cube. If the head difference in the field water is 12 mm, then the velocity of air will be here the velocity of air is equal to root of 2 gh. So and is equal to root of 2 into 9.81 into h is 12 mm that is 0 0.012 which gives a value of nearly 0.5 meter per second. So in the option the right option is A. A is the right answer. The height of down sprue is 175 mm and its cross sectional area of the base is 200 mm square. The cross sectional area of the horizontal runner is also 200 mm square. Assume no losses indicate the correct choice for the time required to fill a mold cavity of volume 10 power 6 mm cube. Here time required to fill a mold cavity is given by volume of the mold cavity by area of the gate into velocity at the inlet of the gate. So here volume of the mold is 10 power 6 mm cube and here area of the gate is 200 mm square and here velocity of the gate is root of 2 gh that is 2 into 9.81 that is here 10 meter per second square and it is given by 10,000 into and here h is 175. So which gives a value of 2.67 seconds. So in the option the right option is A. A is the right answer. Molten aluminum was poured in a sand mold and thickness of solid skin formed after 20 seconds and 50 seconds were found to be 3 mm and 4.5 mm respectively. What would be the thickness of solid skin at the end of 100 seconds after pouring? Here thickness of solid skin is given by C1 root T plus C2 where T is the time. So here in the given options first one is after 20 seconds the thickness of the solid skin is 3 mm and after 50 seconds the thickness of the solid skin is 4.5 mm and from this two equation we can get c1 and c2 values c1 and c2 values that is c1 is equal to 0.577 and c2 is equal to 0.42 so that the solid skin thickness after 100 seconds is equal to 0 0.577 100 plus 0 0.42 with use a value of 6.19 mm and in the option the right option is B. B is the right answer. In an orthogonal machining operation the chip thickness and uncut chip thickness are equal to 0.45 mm. If the tool rake angle is 0 degrees the friction plane angle is assume merchant's theory. Here according to merchant's theory the relation between shear angle, rake angle and friction angle is given by 2 pi plus alpha minus beta is equal to 90 degrees here sorry here is 2 pi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 90 degrees and uh, here alpha is the rake angle beta is uh, friction plane angle and pi is the shear angle and pi is given by tan pi is equal to r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha where here alpha is equal to 0 and r is equal to r is the ratio ratio of uncut cut chip thickness to uncut chip thickness that is 1 so that here it is equal to 1 and here pi is equal to 45 degrees so from these uh, relations alpha here alpha is equal to 0 so that beta is 0 so in the option the right option is D T is the right answer match list 1 with list 2 here list 1 consists different types of machines or machine tools and list 2 consists the parts used in machine tools here uh, the uh, part 1 consists lathe, milling machine, shape or drilling machine. Here uh, in part 2, lead screw, rocker arm, universal indexing, flute. Here first coming to the lathe. In lathe, lead screw is the is a, is a part of the lathe. So that here P relates with the, P matches with 1 and milling in milling machine. Universal indexing is used. So that Q3 and in shaper, rocker arm is a part of shaper. And here flute is a part of drilling machine. So here in the uh, in the option the right option is so this is 2 so in the option the right option is B. What is the most likely time if the optimistic time is 3 the pessimistic uh, pessimistic time is 15 and the expected time is 7. Here expected time is given by optimistic time plus most likely time plus 4 times most likely time plus pessimistic time by 6. 
so from this equation we can calculate the most likely time that is tm here t is 7 into 6 is equal t naught is optimistic time 3 plus 4 times tm plus tp is 15 so from this equation tm is 6 so in option the right option is b in this problem it is given that a is a matrix 2 1 1 2 and also given that p inverse ap is nothing but diagonal matrix of lambda 1 comma lambda 2 where lambda 1 and lambda 2 are nothing but the eigenvalues now then we have to find this matrix p now in order to find this matrix p first we have to find the eigenvalues if i calculate the eigenvalues if i find the eigenvalues of a then the eigenvalues will only will be nothing but 1 and 3 and you know the method uh, find the characteristic equa e characteristic equation and find the roots by which you can get the eigenvalues now eigenvalues are nothing but 1 and 3 let 3 be the second eigenvalue now when i take eigenvalue as 1 we'll have the matrix as 1 1 1 1 that is nothing but x1 plus x2 will be 0 which can be also written as x1 is equals to minus x2 from this we can get the matrix as minus x2 and x2 so it will be minus 1 and 1 similarly if i take the eigenvalue as 3 then the matrix will be minus 1 1 1 minus 1 that is nothing but minus x1 plus x2 is equals to 0 that is x1 is equals to x2 we can write this as x2 and x2 so that is nothing but 1 and 1 now p is a matrix with eigenvalues lambda 1 and lambda 2 and the vectors we know already the vectors so the required value i mean required matrix p will be minus 1 1 1 and 1 which is nothing but option c this problem it is given that five letters were to be placed in envelopes for posting unfortunately the letters were dropped down before they are put into envelopes and we have to find the probability that at least one is in the correct envelope if we arrange them randomly now we have to find probability that at least one is correctly placed which can be also written as 1 minus probability that no one is placed correctly no one is placed correctly let us say now so 1 minus probability of i mean uh, number of favorable cases number of favorable cases here by total number of cases now let us look into this number of favorable cases now here favorable cases is nothing but there are five envelopes and we have to fa place five letters such that no letter is in the correct place so it is nothing but d arrangements so we know the formula of d arrangements d arrangements of n things can be done in n factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on up to minus 1 power n by n factorial this is what we do for d arrangements now here the value of n is nothing but 5 because we have 5 envelopes and 5 letters so the number of favorable cases number of favorable cases is nothing but 5 factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial if i simplify this value will be nothing but 11 by 30 now it will be 11 now the required probability required probability is nothing but 1 minus favorable cases are 11 I mean favorable cases will be sorry 44 if you simplify this will be 44 by and the total number of cases are nothing but 120 which is 5 factorial if I simplify it will be 19 by 30 which is nothing but option D. The given non-exact differential equation is y plus x plus x cube by square into dy by dx is equals to 0. This can be written as y dx plus x plus x cube by square dy is equals to 0. Now here, m is nothing but y, n is nothing but x plus x cube y square. Now dou m y dou y is nothing but 1, dou n by dou x will be 1 plus 3 times of x square y square. Now dou n by dou x minus dou m y dou y 1 by m or if you take 1 by n, the value is nothing, uh, value is not in terms of only x or only y. So it is not in any standard form. So the answer is none of this because we cannot find any integrating factor here.